Peggy 12. Wyatt. Hello, my name is Kieran Pepper, and I'm the creator of the music behind Arcade Paradise along with Ben Pickerskill. Outside of Arcade Paradise, my main thing is uh, developing bands, but it started off really with me working as a musician within bands. I'm a multi-instrumentalist and I love developing new talent. I've been very lucky to have cut my teeth on the transit band circuit, but then ended up playing big gigs like concerts uh, on a global scale with bands like Prodigy and Radiophonic Workshop. So I began by putting together the ideas for 24 tracks. I actually started with a lot more than that and then whittled it down to 24 and had to really encompass all the different styles and genres from that era and dug deep into the music that I was really into at the time. My name is Ben Pickersgill. I did composition, production and mixing for uh, the soundtrack. I got introduced to the project through Kieran. And I wish the story was more glamorous. It was actually just during lockdown and I called him up because I was really bored <laughs> and didn't have any projects. So it was like, actually, I, I, I need a hand with something at the minute. The project kind of evolved from me coming in and doing a bit of, of mixing, first some of the tracks he'd gotten. Like, I, I love the whole 90s sound. Anyway, the 90s sound is coming back in, in general, in dance music with all the like, breakbeat stuff. So I actually had quite a few tracks that I'd already written and a lot of jungle and stuff. So I played it to him and he's like, oh my God, right, can you <laughs> get more involved in this? Part of the digging deep process was uh, going back in time and going up into my loft and finding old tapes, old cassettes, and I've, I've actually got an old workstation called the W30, and I used to work on that incessantly around that time, 1992, 93. I had about 200 floppy disks, so I was sourcing old sounds from those, and I was discovering like songs and sounds that I've been making back in the day, and sometimes they would load, sometimes they wouldn't load, and sometimes some of them would work if I put a bit of sellotape over one of the holes. The inspiration behind the track listings came from all parts of my brain really. It was like tip of the hat to bands I've been in before, um, family and friends, the names were in there. The context of the brief as well, there was a track called The Pier. And the only reason we gave it the name The Pier is because it's got a sax silo in there. And there's a scene in The Lost Boys where you've got this pier and some oiled up sax dude and that's where that came from. So the Arcade Paradise theme, the actual music itself, I, I did quite quickly. It was getting the, the lyrics down that was the challenge. Obviously, it was based around a kind of Rage Against Machine vibe, and I just had to find the best person to do that. And I've, I've worked with Stu Brutal in the past, and so I gave Stu a shout, and we, we talked about the theme. I talked about the, the backstory of the, of the game as well, and he totally got that. It's such an easily relatable experience when you get asked to do something about some kind of tyrannical parent or some kind of authoritarian figure in your life that's completely unjust. I think everyone can relate to that experience, trying to combat that. And so writing that song, I think it came really naturally, especially from my own background with my own father, you know, and having those experiences uh, with someone who doesn't really want what's best for you, you know. It sounds quite angry, but it's mainly an empowerment song. It's written from the perspective of becoming empowered and uh, taking back your, uh, your ability to choose to make your life the way that you want it. Each track has got its own vibe and had its own challenge and its own story. And when we were working out how to play the songs live, I think these kicks, there's something about playing it live in the room with musicians that it really came alive again. And I think I'm really proud of the writer behind that. The story behind that as well is one of the first bands that I was in, like proper bands, it was called Garp, as in the world according to Garp. And um, they had this song called Pump. And there was no recording of this track. There was no demos. I just remembered the top line. And I remember the lyrics, the lyrics were nothing like the ones that are in the game, but it was the melody that really resonated and so there's something about that that feels really special because that's from exactly that time.
revisiting 1993 was incredible. It wasn't just work, it very quickly actually became a passion project for us because it's, it's such an incredible era of music. We didn't want it to just be a throwback or prestige, we wanted to try and get elements of that real sound from back then. I think the music that I've put together for Arcade Paradise, it all stems from my personal experiences from that era and understanding what it feels like to be in an arcade, like the, the back of a shopping precinct and I think the music really brings all of that together. If you listen very carefully to the lyrics, there, there's some subtle references to that actual atmosphere itself, you know, standing behind people, watching that, the high scores going up, wanting to be part of a tribe, you know. Super. 